Yo guys, Thirsty Gogeta back at it again and today we are going to talk about some more Transformers Rise of the Beast content and just overall everything really and what we have heard recently. So of course we got a, a photo here of how I was talking about Optimus Prime's design in the NFL, well commercials and such or like I don't know. They were just showing off Optimus and Optimus Primal, which we will get to Optimus Primal here in a little bit. Um, so, this is what I was talking about, how they kind of changed it up a little bit because uh, they kind of beefed up his chest. Like, they made it... It looks like they gave him a chest lift. There we go. Anyways, um, uh, I liked how they kind of make the shoulders more, like, more more up there more beefed up like he's more he's more beefed up like how he was in the uh bumblebee film and in the trailer for rise of the beast he was all like slouched down <laughs> and uh his chests were like going like this imagine this is windows they were going going down like that how they would in uh and bay formers and here well the reason why it kind of looks drooping down because he's well, you're kind of looking somewhat up at him, so he's trying to look. No, he's looking more um, robust and more giant. Anyways, um, big props to um, to them making his torso a little more thickened out. I I like how they did that, and. Um, it possibly could have been a reason that they weren't exactly finished with the uh, CGI model. But that, that that's probably what was going on. They weren't exactly finished because if you saw the scene that everyone was talking about is that his shoulder was going into his body. So they weren't exactly done with the CGI, which I can't exactly blame them. But in, it seems like in this shot, he's, uh, it's, the, it's overall looks better than how it did in the trailer. And people were complaining how he, like, in this shot right here, so it wasn't just uh, a picture. It actually showed Optimus Prime in motion. So he kneeled down, and then he transformed into his truck. But the way he transformed into his truck, nobody seemed to like. But what people are forgetting, that this is just a promo. This is just an NFL promo. They're not going to put so much effort into his transformation, guys. Because so many people were like, oh, he transformed so craply. Like, he transformed like how he did in Age of Extinction. It was bad. Um, guys, this is just a promo. Calm the hell down. This is just a promo. And obviously, he transforms different in the movie. Because you saw how he transformed in the trailer. He transformed how, he, how G1 Optimus transforms. Get the hell over it. So overall, I like I like how this one looks over how he did in the trailer. To be honest, now I really, really, really hope that they go with keeping his mask because that face. I'm still keeping that word. It, it's just atrocious. I didn't like how they gave him back the Michael Bay face. Anyways, moving on. Now this, this, holy shit. So the figure for Scourge just got leaked. And uh, this this is obviously his face and like upper body. And you see the smokestacks all behind him. And honestly, I look, uh, it looks very nice. I like how it looks. Now, people were saying that this was the Studio Series figure. And it kind of made me a little worried to be honest because this to me looked more like a uh, mainline figure because i like i'm literally looking at studio series figures <laughs> over here because i got optimus prime and everybody like that and um i don't i don't really see a resemblance because the painting and the overall sculpting and the overall configuration of the figure. Now, I'm not saying that this is a bad figure. No, I'm not. I'm just saying that this, to me, looks more like um, a mainline figure than it does a studio series figure. But if this is what they're going for, okay, I guess. <laughs> I mean, the painting can be touched up a little bit more. 
and the transformation, I mean, I guess it's okay. I mean, in the scene where he it showed him standing over Optimus in the trailer and then stabbing Bumblebee, I, get, I guess that's when he battle trap and uh, Nightbird first got to Earth. So I guess they're still in their Cybertronian forms. And with their Cybertronian modes, so you don't see any more of the car parts or anything like that. And because if you see in the trailer, you don't see the smokestacks or, or anything. And I was kind of wanting, like worrying about that for a little bit because I didn't want it to end up like a Michael Bay Transformer where it just like the, they're making their Transformers just look too human and making all the car parts just completely disappear. But it seems like um, uh, then I came up with like, oh, duh, he, he just got to Earth because in the previous shot, it showed three pods landing on Brooklyn. That's obviously Scourge, Nightbird, and Battle Trap. So they probably still have their Cybertronian modes. So they probably don't look exactly to their car modes. Or truck mode, or whatever the fuck. But anyways, um, I like uh, how they dealt with the backpack here. Nice and flattened out. Now, I can see it getting in the way of his some of his articulation when it comes down to his shoulders and arms. But, I mean, overall, it won't be too bad. And I do like his claw. It looks very fucking cool. And uh, I do like the, the, the bumblebee stabber. I guess that's what we're dubbing it. Well, what I'm dubbing it. And I, I like his uh, little little blaster here. But what I was wondering is, like, they removed his entire fucking arm. Like, you can tell, like... I know that's where the swivel is supposed to be. That right there. But, um... Wait, I think I can draw. Can I draw? Oh my god, I can. But yeah, that right there is where his swivel is supposed to be. And, um, so that, that's a, that's okay. Like we've dealt with ho removing whole limbs before and replacing them with the gun or the weapon, but all right. And here he is in a cool pose. And it seems like that his, uh, his claws will actually be like real, jo like real joints, like obviously joints, but jointed to the brim. There we go. And here's his truck mode. Now, it, um, I mean, this is something that plagues a lot of uh, Transformers that turn into trucks and a lot of Optimus Prime figures is that um, the cab section, like the front, doesn't look bad at all. And the back really, really uh, gets hit a lot. But... It's normal for Transformers, I guess. And, um... Overall, I think it's okay. I think it's... I think it's serviceable. And now, these are bent right here, but of course that's for how he looks like in the Transform... No, uh, looks like in, uh... In his robot mode, because if you look at the original truck... I... I don't think I have it. No, I don't. I thought I had a picture of it. But anyways, uh, if you look at the original truck, that these certain spots right here, they're more straight. And this is more like lifted up right here. That's cool. I'm going to use that for more of my videos. But anyways, the back... I mean, these parts right here, you split, obviously it looks like when you split the gun in half and it look and it looks accurate to, uh, certain parts of the back of the truck. Now here's the shot of Optimus Primal that I was talking about. So I really like how they, uh, have Optimus Primal looking like, and I, yeah, here's a shot between, uh, for him and his, uh, nineties counterpart. Honestly... It's okay. I love it. I like how it looked. And, um, I honestly still think they should give him a little bit of color. 
Now, I know they're making him look like he's been there for a long time, but here's what I think, here's what I propose they should have done, is um, make these like a very, very rusted gunmetal red and certain parts on his arm the same way. And then make his head a little more like dark blue, just more rustic and looking old. That's what I proposed it should have been. But hey, it still looks very badass. I just saw this right now and this is going to be a funny. He's got the Batman signal on his... Uh, on his chest. Do you see that? That's funny. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Jacob's so funny. I want to die. So about this. <laughs> so this is a this is a Terracon named Freezer. He's our fourth officially named Terracon, and I'm getting a little afraid be that the Michael Bay ness is coming back because look at that design. It, it's something. It, it, oh man, it, it, it looks like Michael Bay's bullshit. <laughs> it looks like Michael Bay's bullshit. And people don't seem to have a problem with it from the Transformer fan point of view, not the casual fan point of view, because the casual fan point of view, they, some of them, a good portion of them don't understand they don't understand. They just go, ooh, big robot, fight big robot. It looked cool. They turn their brains off when they watch these movies. But, um... I don't know what to make of this. I'm real, real, real weirded out. I know this guy is probably not going to have much to do in the movie if he shows up. And also, we were told that he's supposed to be like a fossilizer. Now, if you don't know what fossilizers are, they were Transformers, either in the Maximal or the uh, Predacon factions that turned into skeleton dinosaurs or extinct animals. They turned into the skeletons of that, hence fossilizers. And they could you could split their body parts and turn them into weapons for the, for the normal Transformers, like the, the original Maximals, like... Optimus Primal or the uh, Predacons like Black Arachnia. If I said Megatron as Predacon, you'd probably be confused. So yeah, this is what he's supposed to be, and here's the whole body shot right here. And I still, I'm, I'm getting major Michael Bay vibes, and I don't really know what to make of it. Now RC, RC has been getting a lot of shit lately. And I can kind of understand. So, um, let me show you a full shot of it and you'll see why. That <laughs> kind of looks bad, to be honest. I mean, I understand it's a core class figure or from uh, my early 2000s mind, it Legends figure. And... Um, I mean, I understand what they meant by that. It's a it's a decent looking bike, a motorbike, and oh, we'll get to that bumblebee here in a minute. But um, they could have done this a hell of a lot better, to be honest, because I know they've made small motorcycle transformer figures before, and they made it hell of a lot look you know looking a hell of a lot better than this. And honestly, they they could have they could have done better. Because in the trailer, if you couldn't see that, she had both of the tires on her back. And then she could detach the tires and put them on her feet so she can quote-unquote skate. And honestly, they could have made that into a little cool gimmick, to be honest. But uh, they just decided to go for this and uh, turn her gun into a black piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know people are still going to get it and review it. I mean, all right. And uh, what pisses me off the most is that they could have made her, like, real chest, which is the front of the uh, the motorbike, but they put it on the her ass. 
So she's got two faces of the motorcycle. That it's just like, what the fuck? You could have done better than that. Come on, Hasbro. Now, Bumblebee. This is where they didn't exactly fuck up. This is a beautiful looking figure. I love how it looks. Um, so I'm on the bandwagon of everybody else. They're saying that the yellow, more yellow on Bumblebee's face is a little weird, which, uh, to be honest, yeah, it kind of is. But and because in the in the trailers, you don't you don't see that, but you see that in the promotional art and everything like that. And I really like how it looks. I really like how it looks. And, um, okay, what kind of gets me off is this is the only thing besides the yellow on his face. The only thing. Other than that, it's an overall perfect figure. The hands. Basically being attached to his arms. And it's just like, eh, they could have they done like at least an up and down like they normally do with Bumblebee figures. But overall, uh, the... It looks amazing. And I've seen the transformation for it, and it's not too hard, but it's like, it's... Okay, for me, for someone who's been playing with Transformer figures for God knows how long, literally, shit, as long as the Transformers 1 film has been out, I've been a fan for Transformers for 16 years. Well, what's going to be 16 years this year, but overall 15 years. And... I've seen the transformation, and it seems pretty easy to me. Now, for a kid, um, it would be a little difficult, I guess, but overall, I, it wouldn't be too damn hard. And the Camaro mode looks amazing. I love how the Camaro mode looks like here. And they kind of did the same thing with what they did with the Jeep Studio Series Bumblebee. It's kind of make his arms kind of jut out real prominently on the bottom. But you have these bigger, uh, the normal tires kind of jacking them up a little bit to get, make it remotely excusable. Battle Trap. Okay. See what I meant by... See, see th these guys, this and this. These are Studio Series figures. You can tell by the nice paint, the overall more... Tr like the more transformed and well done they are and they just overall look better they look better that's why i think that battle trap figure looks more like a mainline figure than he does like this this is battle trap this he's probably gonna be like the terracon strongman because he's big, he's beefy, he looks like he's about to kick autobot and maximal ass like i said in the previous videos talking about him and uh, he looks fucking amazing. I can't wait to get my hands on this guy. He looks awesome. He looks real awesome. See, like even in like, like this is a promotional shot. This is a non-promotional shot. And he still looks better than Scourge did in Scourge's figure. Like I still love Scourge's design over the Battle Trap here. Now I'm not saying Battle Trap looks like shit. No, he looks awesome. But I like Scourge's design over him. But I honestly think that Battle Trap got the better figure. And he just looks so fucking cool. And his rope, his fucking beel commode, look at that. Besides, like, the feet on the bottom, he does not look like he transforms at all. Honestly, he does not look like he transforms. You have to, like, real delve deep into, like, really looking at him. Like, it, honestly, I thought this was going to be, like, I thought this whole cab over was fake. I honestly think this whole, like, entire piece right here was fake as hell. I did not think it was going to, like, be integrated into the transformation. And then I saw a YouTuber review the figure, and he, these right here, where his uh, tail, mm, tail lights headlights are at they actually do go into like these ones right here are the real ones that are on his chest it's not like fake parts where one part of the figure that is supposed to be on this part of the like at this area of the transformer but you can transform it right to the like you can transform it it's just weird fake parts and i thought it, this entire front area was going to be like put on his back or anything and then a fake chest part would go in to fill to look like his normal chest, but no. 
I don't know what they did with this promotional shot here, but they made this look like it was fake, where it did not look like it could transform at all, but it obviously does. So I think um, borderline black magic going on here. Anything other than that? No, not really. But that's been my overall opinion on uh, recent Transformers news for Rise of the Beasts. And, um, and the figures and everything like that. Excuse me. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe for more of me. And if you would like more videos of me talking about Transformers, it seems like a lot of people like it. You know, like, if you go to my uh, previous Transformers Rise of the Beast uh, videos, it seems like people like the video. So, if you want more of these Transformer videos, you're going to get more Transformer videos. So, like I said... Like, comment, subscribe for more of me, and this has been Thirsty Gogeta, signing out. Peace.